Hey everyone, this is Oba and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Last time we set off to the Jewel Moon Lafe to land over a space plane. I'm about halfway there now and I'm going to fine tune my encounter. Alright, I just uh, ditched a bunch of auxiliary fuel tanks that I don't need anymore. Since, well, the fuel I have right now just about fits into the ship. And, well, okay, I guess this is a familiar issue. <laughs> the tank's not wanting to move away. Guess I'm not learning from my mistakes, eh? Well, to be fair, I guess I did build this thing uh, before the other one. Yeah, they move slowly away, that's fine. Okay, next step, I'm about to correct my orbit. Uh, 189.4 meters per second. Uh, mostly to fix my inclination in relation to Jewel. Uh, yeah, and to make sure I spin around the same way as its moons. <laughs> It sounds like quite a lot for just a correction, but I guess it can be held down. So after almost a year of travel, Jebediah is arriving at the Jewel system. Uh, just setting a maneuver node here for what would put me along the orbital height of Leif. So I can kind of follow how my arrow breaking is going outside the map view. Um, I uh, set myself up for a 120 kilometer ish periapsis at Jewel now. That's apparently a good height according to the KSB forums. At this point I wondered if my wings are actually going to do anything, so I figured I might as well turn them so they will actually put me the right way, like uh, put my inclination closer to what I want it to be. Well, even if it feels a bit weird being suddenly upside down now. Instincts kind of tell me I'm suddenly going the other way around, but yeah, of course that's not true. I can, yeah, I can start. Oh, yeah, <laughs> can start to f uh, feel the atmosphere starting to grab the ship now. No, oh. suddenly green. Looks like a Borg ship now. <laughs> That's quite nice. A bit weird that it would switch over that suddenly. Oh, we're getting re-entry effects now. Nice. I can see them from the inside though. Damn it, that speed. <laughs> Ah. Yeah, shooting through a gas shine like a bat out of hell. <laughs> ah, fun. Well, I'm sure Jeb thinks it's fun. Ah. Like a bat out of hell, I'll be gone when the morning comes. 
When the night is over, like a bed on a hill, I'll be gone, gone, gone. Hmm, okay, note to self. Get that song for the car radio. <laughs> okay, is this turbulence or is it just the, uh, the SAS wobble again? <laughs> mm. Well, either way, if it's, if it's the SAS wobble, it adds to dramatic effect. So, fair enough. <laughs> Because before it looked just plain silly. Wait a second, this is surface speed now, so am I going even faster? Hmm. Well, I, I guess that depends on which way around I'm going, but. Yeah, I was somewhere in the 9000s, so I'm not breaking that hard. Hmm. Great, I was going even faster than it showed. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Well, looking down in that altimeter tells me I'm actually pulling out of it now, which I guess is good. And well, I suppose I couldn't really do anything anyway if I did mess up, so let's just enjoy the pilot's view. Other reason being that the outside view merely lagged me thanks to the re-entry effects going off. Alright, um, green light has stopped, I guess that means we're out of the atmosphere. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, and we're in jewel orbit. Awesome. So now I'm just going to have to do a couple of um, small air braking maneuvers and... Well, I'm glad about that. Now that I'm captured, I can just uh, stay up high and don't have to risk diving in so deep.
Okay, this one took me a while to figure out. I got a leaf encounter, and I was just like, shit, not yet. <laughs> but yeah, that one would have just sent me uh, back right into Jewel. And if I ever break out of the way, I would have had to burn again so I can run the wool with it later. Because my orbital height would be below it. And burning to dodge it would have used up a lot of fuel. So would have um, correcting at Jewel Parry apps after my error break, but uh, I can fix this quite easily actually, if I just burn prograde where I am right now, still far out away from Jewel, uh, that's gonna pull me away from Jewel when I get closer and it won't be able to pull me around quite that tightly, and it's gonna send me right onto a course for error capture and wave. It takes just a tiny notch too, not using a lot of fuel at all, so yeah, glad I figured it out after uh, a quarter of an hour.
Alright, I just put my craft into a nice 60 kilometer circular orbit. And yeah, I was looking around for a landing site and I kind of like the look of this one here. It has that nice coast area there. There's uh, three lakes and it doesn't look as mountainous. Yeah, I think I'll be going for that one. Okay, just gonna have to turn my craft around the right way. Mm, I kinda want to have the docking port on the bottom again. Just stay there. Well, it looks like I have all my fuel loaded. Well, I'm not sure if I'm gonna need it all, but yeah, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Alright, let's undock and try not to smash into it. Okay, let me pull away there. Hmm, I think it's still spinning. Uh, the other part, I mean. Maybe SAS got turned off. No. Oh well, I'm gonna deal with that later. <laughs> okay, which way do we need? Oh right, I'm already pointing the right way. So let's just fire up the engine and get us down. the most efficient spot to do it in, but whatever. I think it will work. Oh wow, that's quite a mountain. Oh yeah, SAS and it doesn't make me wobble. That's a nice change. <laughs> wait, why is my gear down? No, wait, it's not. Hmm. Oh, it reset the action groups. That the special ones. Let me fix that. I don't know why I bound the jet engine cut off um, to the abort button, but. Oh, well, the backspace button is pretty big and I didn't want to miss it and to send my plane spinning out of control as I'm leaving the atmosphere. I wonder how accurate this is going to be, but well, the jet engines are pretty efficient, so even if I end up a little bit too far away, shouldn't matter too much. Hmm. 
Yeah, f fixing this here is a bad idea. <laughs> hmm. Maybe if I angle my wings as I re-enter, is it actually going to push me in that direction? I don't know if the aerodynamics work like that. Hmm. Yeah, I, I guess I can only try. Actually, wasn't I trying to figure out this exact same thing when arrow breaking a jewel? I guess I didn't pay attention to the results. Oh well. Uh, right, um, let me put down a marker here so I know when I'm over the target when not in map view. I mean, I guess I would see it, but whatever. <laughs> it also shows me how much uh, meters per second uh, being... Uh, I don't know, generally used up, whatever you call it, uh, for arrow breaking, uh, right next to the nav ball there. Which, I guess doesn't really matter, but, I don't know, it's interesting. <laughs> There's another island. Alright, um, we are entering the atmosphere now.
Hmm, it's our target island coming up on the horizon. do look bigger than the map would suggest. Ah, okay, well I guess the globe in map view is actually completely flat. Mm. Oh well, I think this area is still safe for mining, the, the coastal area there. Mm. I think we're coming down just right though. Maybe a little bit high. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, those are mountains alright. <laughs> I guess they're not that bad. Still a rather land or something flat. Especially with this plane. It's, well, it's packed with rocket fuel at the moment, so it's pretty damn heavy. Uh, I tried test landing it on Kerbin and I had to go on around 95 meters per second to land it, which is kind of ridiculous, but yeah, I don't know. Not sure how it's going to behave on leaf. I think the gravity here is lower, but the atmosphere is thinner as well, so... I guess pretty much the same as Kerbin. Just that it's probably gonna be easier to keep the speed up, because of less air resistance. Quite pretty this area. I like the leaf. Yeah, about the ocean textures. I don't know, kind of messing with my head. <laughs> now I'm getting the reentry flames now. Yeah, I still think we're going to overshoot this though. But not by much, I hope. I think it's time to pull up and over a little bit because I'm coming down quite fast. But, uh, if I want to turn around, uh, I'd rather stay a bit up high because of less air resistance. That way I won't have to spend as much fuel. Right, um, yeah, I need to keep up. Um, let me fly up the jets. Quite heavy at the moment, it's just the way it turns.
nice picture. Well, I think I picked the right landing site anyway, does it? it looks a lot flatter than the others. Yeah, I know. I'm a screenshot or whatever. <laughs> Still in one piece. Ooh. <laughs> that jump. Okay, flay the nose up and break. And there we go. Nice. Ah. My first landing on the June Moon Lave. nice landing and I had to reload anyway because like a total moron I put a spelling error onto the flag black Ugh. <laughs> well luckily I saved after the landing all right okay let's get jet down and this time please don't get stuck on that canard
But yeah, I couldn't have that. That'd be like uh, going to the moon again and finding out they put uh, Louis Armstrong onto the flag instead of Neil. <laughs> uh, yeah, just imagine a conspiracy theorist after that. The moon landing was fake because trumpets don't work on the moon. Uh. <laughs> Alright, let's put the flag down. So I can take a screenshot and I can... Okay, I was about to say so it's facing the same way as Jewel, but I guess Jeb has other points. Oh well. Um. Okay, Jeb, Adaya, Kevin. Okay, I got it right this time. It actually says so right in the background. <laughs> um, not. Bad <laughs> beer, what the ah, ah again with the spelling. Okay, that looks good now. All right, screenshot time. Hmm. I want to fit the plane into the picture. And you look the right way, please. Heck. Oh wow, we're quite sideways. Hmm, I guess we did land, uh, end up landing on a hill after all. Oh well. Um, a bit more up. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Mm. There we go. Screenshot. Perfect. Mm, all right. Um. I'm just gonna get him back in. Um. And then I'm gonna. S okay. Ow. <laughs> oh. How did that happen? Okay, let's try this again. Wait, I can't board from here. Oh crap, that's that's the rover seats. <laughs> well, let me try and uh, jump over. The ow! Oh, whoa! <laughs> uh, that, that was weird. Why is he bouncing upwards? Ow! Okay. Uh, yeah, let's try that again. Come on, it's running on Unity. There ought to be a way to bug this out to get me back up. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, I think I have an idea. It seems like if I climb to the top, then drop off, hold the down button, and then the up button, it flings me back up. So if I try that and pull out my EVA pack, I might be able to land on top. And. Ah, oh, come on, hurry up, get the, uh, get the AVA out. Yeah! <clears throat> I did it. <laughs> uh, yeah, totally not cheating. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I guess a year-long travel squeezed into a tiny cockpit that zero G um, took its toll on Jeb's muscles. So he couldn't get back up the ladder. That's, um... 
how should I kill it on my my role player's excuse? <laughs> right, I guess all that's left to do is turning around the plane. So I'll say thanks for watching and see you all.